Man, you're like the only good. person who's gotten more more than four hours of sleep on their first night. How'd I that know. work out? I, I mean, that first night was rough. Yeah. The first night, because okay. I was here for two nights. Yeah, yeah. So the first night, no, I only got like three hours. Okay. So I'm in the same category as everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> what's, the, uh, what's the process been like so far since you've been here? Oh, it's, it's been fun, you know I mean? You just got to, it's wild, but you're just trying to embrace it, you know what I mean? Uh, it's a dream come true to be here, and uh, I'm just trying to make the best out of it and, and enjoy it. Um, from the Senior Bowl till now, what's that month been like, and do you feel like you've, you've gained any momentum or anything like that? Of course. Uh, I mean, you got a chance to play with the best seniors in the country, you know, and get a feel to play, be around the best of the best. And, uh, I mean, once, you, once we went back to training, I mean, it definitely – kicked it up a, little, a notch, you know, once you saw some of these guys and how they were flying around on the field, you're like, all right, this is what I need to do, and uh, just made those adjustments, and, and now we're here. You've obviously been massively productive in terms of your number of tackles for four years. Is there anything specific you can point to that you've been able to sustain that level of production? Uh, just like my preparation and my instincts, you know. Uh, I mean, those things just come natural, but my preparation, I mean, it's a lot of hard work, and I put in a lot of hours to, to study my opponent, and that's what made, that's what makes me able to make the plays that I'm able to make. You know, uh, I can I can literally see a team come out in 11 personnel and know the formation they're going to come out in and literally narrow it down to a few plays, and then once I see a key, I'm beating the ball to where it's going to be, you know. So, uh, I mean, that just comes with a lot of time in the filming and in studying our defense. Do you sense the teams are worried about your size? And if so, how do you kind of alleviate those fears? I mean, th there's nothing I can do about my size. I mean, it's it's the film, you know. Uh, I mean, I think I've put enough film on, in, the, like, in the room for the past four years for them to look at and see that my size doesn't matter and I can play with whoever it is, you know. Um, and it's just something I'm just going to have to continue to to uh, progress with and just keep keeping, you know what I mean, just keep going. Do you have a relationship at all with Tahir Wade? Oh, uh, yeah, so Tahir, he, he was there right before I got there and stuff. And uh, it's funny because right before I came here, he was wishing me good luck and stuff. And uh, But, I mean, that's a guy who, you look at him, uh, they were saying he's skinny and stuff, he's small, and you look at him and he's he won, like, special teams. Play of the year for like the, uh, the lines and stuff, and, and now look at him—he's a starter. So uh, when I see a guy like that, uh, I mean he's definitely someone who I try to be like, especially coming out of Temple. You know. Do you have a, a relationship with him, or is he just kind of, kind of talking to you, talking you through the, the draft uh, just, process? I mean, yes. I mean, we sort of have a relationship just because yeah. Temple and stuff like that. Uh, like I said, he graduated right before I came in. Um, but no, I mean, when you see a guy like that coming out of Temple, I mean, not too many guys come out of Temple, so it's definitely someone who I try to be like. What sort of, what sort of advice did he give you about the I mean, just, just put in the work, you know what I mean? Uh, when you go to Temple, it's hard being in North Philly, you know, and it makes you a tough football player. And and that's just something that you, you learn from being there, and it's just something I'll continue to use to my advantage and just keep getting better at. Have you talked to the Lions since you've been down here? Um, yeah, I talked to just about everybody, yeah. Okay. Do you remember so, who, you, who you spoke with? Oh, uh, gosh. I, there's yeah, so many I mean, names this week, and I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Do you have any formal interviews set up? Uh, no, actually, I didn't have a, any formal interviews. I mean, I met most of the people down at the Senior Bowl and stuff. Okay. So, so, yeah, so no formal interviews. Um, are there players in the NFL who you kind of like, try to pattern your game after? Yeah, um, definitely Luke Keekley, you know. Uh, I mean, my position coach coached him when he was at BC, so uh, he definitely would would tell me a lot of things about him, like his preparation and the way he studied the game. And uh, I mean, when you watch him on Sundays, uh, the guy just flies around, he's an animal, you know? So it's definitely someone who I try to be like. Is there something in particular you, you watch of him that you, you really like? Just the way he flies to the ball, you know? I mean, if you turn on our film, you, you'll, you'll realize really quick, I'm always around the ball. I find a way to get to the ball. And uh, when you watch film on him, I mean, he's always around the ball. Have you talked to the Eagles? Um, uh, yeah, I talked to some of, some of the guys. Uh, this week? Yeah. And, uh, I mean, it's just, it's it's a process, you know what I mean? They want to find out about you and stuff. Uh, at this point, they've already watched all the film, so there's not much you could do. You just got to tell them who you are as a person. Like that. Would it be cool for you to, if you got a chance to end up staying in the city to play? Of course. Uh, I mean, to be in Philly the last four years, you know, it's definitely been fun. Uh, but, I mean, wherever I go, I'll be happy. Tyler, you get it. A lot of people talk about you as being a guy with a good character and a high motor. Do you feel like you're on the criticism and maybe it's overlooked sometimes? Definitely. You know, uh, that's definitely one area where, where people have big question marks, you know. But, uh, I mean, like I've been saying, uh, my film has, has showed, you know what I mean, I'm one of the most productive players in this class. And, uh, 
and it's just something I'm just going to continue to get better at and, and whatever I need to do, uh, whether it's like the open field and stuff like that, I'm just going to continue to get better. Do you get bugged when people say that sort of thing? Do you, do you feel like maybe, hey, play too, it's not just <laughs> um, I mean, of course, you know, but I mean, that's just something I've, I've had to deal with, you know what I mean? It's a little chip on my shoulder that I'll continue to play with and just keep the fire feel, you know? Yeah, you think you can prove that tomorrow? Of course. Uh, I think definitely people are going to be surprised when I go out there. How underrated of a player do you think you are? Um, you know, uh, I mean, you're you're here at a table when most of the top players get podiums, for instance. Yeah, uh, I mean, to me, that, that stuff really doesn't matter, you know? Uh, I mean, I'm just appreciative to be here, you know what I mean? I have the shot to prove to all these teams what I can do on the field and uh, I'm just going to make the best out of it. So I'm sure you've been asked this, but you almost had 500 tackles. Mm -hmm. How in the hell did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, it came from a lot of preparation, you know. Uh, I was saying before, uh, I mean, with my preparation, I'm able to, to really know what a team's going to do before they actually do it, you know. And uh, mm -hmm. and that's just something I take a lot of pride in. And, and I understand I'm not the biggest, I'm not the strongest, I'm not the fastest. But I'll beat you in the film room, you know. Uh, I mean, a guy could be faster than me. We'll be on the same field. Yeah, I'll beat him to the ball just because of my instincts. And I'm able to, to react to the plays, you know. And uh, I think that's what makes me such a special player. And I think that's what's going to allow me to get to the next level. What, 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 what does it mean to be there talking to you? What, what, what has been the focal point of most of your conversations? I mean, just, just how I'm going to do tomorrow. <laughs> that's really been the, the focal point. Uh, I mean, all the teams know what type of person I am, my, my type of character, my leadership and stuff, and, and they've all seen me on film, but I mean, the big question is, what am I going to do tomorrow? Temple you is considered a like a uh, football powerhouse, so how much pride do you do you take in at, you're leaving the, that program and is with the success you've had the last couple of years? Unbelievable amount, you know? Uh, I mean, like you said, people don't see Temple as a, as a football <laughs> school, you know? And uh, I mean, that definitely <laughs> gets me a little angry, you know what I mean, being there, but uh, but no, uh, I mean, to, to go through what we went to, to go two and 10, to six and six, uh, to go finish the season 10 and four, we played in a conference championship in a bowl. I mean, no team has done that in, in 20 plus years, 30 years at Temple. So, uh, I mean, I definitely take a lot of pride and, and I really, I love the cheer and white. So, I mean, uh, I take a lot of pride in Temple. I mean, you, you had, what, one scholarship offer and that was the Temple, is that right? Yes, sir, coming so out of- Could you have imagined this back then when no one wanted you then and now you're gonna be wanted here in a couple months in the <laughs> No, I mean, like, like, it's honestly a dream come true. You know, uh, I mean, coming out of high school, I had no scholarship offers. I went to prep school, and then even after prep school, I only had one, and it was Temple. So I just figured I'm going to make the best out of it, you know what I mean? And, and I was grateful that they gave me an opportunity. And, I mean, I have the same mentality going into to this weekend, you know what I mean? If a team gives me a chance, I'm going to make the best out of it. What were the reasons you think back then you didn't have offers? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, you know what I mean? I mean, I was a kid from Connecticut. Uh, I mean, they definitely don't think football's up in Connecticut, but it is. And uh, but uh, but no, I, I mean, I definitely just think I got overlooked, you know. And uh, unfortunately, I mean, I'm grateful. Temple gave me an opportunity. I made the best. Auburn effort. cornerback Jonathan Jones, table one. Uh, Auburn cornerback Jonathan Jones, you table one. In during a, uh, a game week last year, uh, it would probably be two to three hours a day. Uh, each every day, I would probably put that. Just about that amount. After practice, yes, sir. Not even, yeah, not even what we put in. Like on my own, I would do that. You're known as a leader, as a rookie in the NFL. Can you step in day one and be a leader when there's, you know, all sorts of veterans around? that has been there. I think you just, you just got to feed off the veterans. You know what I mean? You got to get in there and really find one of the vets who's been there a while, get to know, and just really just, just try to get under his wing. You know what I mean? So you could learn from him and, and how he does in the NFL, so that potentially you could do it. Are you heading back to Philly after this? Uh, yes, I'm gonna head back to, to Philadelphia and, and train and get ready for the pro day. Train with, your, with the other guys. Yeah, I'll be down there with all the guys from Temple and stuff like that. When is the Temple pro day? Uh, March 16th. Tyler, in, in some schemes, you, you know, you, you have uh, defensive tackles and, and DNs where they don't have to two gap, they don't have to keep you clean. Can you just touch on just the importance of being able to wipe wipe mm -hmm. uh, the guys' hands off you and just create your own ways to the running back? I mean, yeah, it's, it's important, you know what I mean? It's key. Uh, I mean, if you watch a film, uh, a lot of times uh, we, we'd have to do that too, you know? Uh, we got to fill the gaps and you got to take on blockers and get off quick. And uh, I mean, they're fast, they're big, you know what I mean? But you just got to use your athletic ability and just be physical and get off the blocks. And that's something that I'll do, I did in college and I'll continue to do, you know what I mean? And just get better. At. And as productive as you were in school, you, uh, you know, we talked about the tackle numbers, you talked about the film study. Where do you feel, and you moved around the field a lot, where would you feel most comfortable? What type of scheme? I mean, most teams are talking about being in the middle. You know what I mean? Playing middle, uh, Mike Linebacker. And uh, 
I mean, wherever they put me, I'll be happy, you know? But, uh, I mean, definitely when I'm in the box, I feel like that's when I'm in my element. And, uh, I mean, I, I see more than, than your average person can see when they're in the box. So, uh, I mean, I definitely think that's where they're going to put me. We good? Great. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks, Thanks Thank you.